Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to The Gamer Couple. My name is Sam, and today I'm going to be guys' host for this video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Rave in the Redwoods Easter Egg by Round 5. Now, this is a very simple strategy, and everybody should be able to do it with a bit of practice. I feel like a lot of YouTubers out there are going to make a low round guide for this Easter Egg, but most, if not all, will require fortune cards. Fortune cards are the cards that you get in-game either by spending keys or by spending your own money. Our goal is to make a guide showing you how fortune cards can benefit you if you do have them, but if you don't have them, still make it totally possible to complete for everyone out there. We're really against pay to play, and that's why we make every guide accessible to everyone, whether you have the microtransaction advantage or not. With that being said, let's go ahead and aim for 200 likes on this video, and without further ado, let's jump into this guide. <laughs> Like I said guys, this strategy is very simple. The first thing we're going to do is spawn into the map. Immediately run up the stairs and purchase the M1 off the crate. Now shoot every zombie in the leg one time, followed by a melee and repair barriers at the end of the round. Round 2 is the exact same as round 1. The only difference is now we shoot the zombies in the leg two times, followed by a melee and then repairing barriers once again to maximize our points. At the start of round 3, open the back door to the cabin. Run through the mess hall and open the camper cabins to the left. Once we do this, we can pop our first fate card, Scope Dollars. This is a classic card and everybody will be able to use it. Now we're going to shoot the zombies in the leg three times, followed by a headshot. This will yield us 430 points per kill for 10 zombies. Once you've used this card to its full effect, open up the doors leading to the mine. Flip on the power switch and play the knife game. This game is crucial for extra points and you want to hit at least 3 to 6 headshots. You can play this game on round 3, 4, and 5, potentially earning you 900 to 1800 cash. Next, you want to run upstairs and buy Jug. I use the fortune card coupon clipper for this, but if you do not have this card, don't worry. I'll be covering how to get Jug without cards later in the video. Now run to the front of spawn and open the door for 750. Head towards the recreation area and open up the next door for 1000. You should be really close to 1250 points by now, so kill one more zombie. You can now open up our final door to the rave, and it's very important that you drop down and open the rock wall door. This will save you 1500 cash when getting to the rave stage. Now do a quick run of the map to all the open areas. You're guaranteed to get two statues, but most of the time you will get three. If you don't know the statue locations, I have left a link down in the description to all areas that the statues can spawn. Place your statues down on the speaker set in front of the race stage, and now you can start round four. During round four, we found a super cool trick to charging the statues. You don't have to get leg, arm, or headshots, but simply shoot twice in the leg, followed by a melee. This will give souls to all the statues. Once they are fully charged, pick up the statues, and then go play the knife game and repair barriers for extra points. Once completed, go ahead and head down to the boat and sail to Turtle Island. Now we're going to run into Kevin's cabin, grab his wieners, and talk to him. Once you're done with that, go ahead and zip line back to the mainland and run to spawn. From here, throw your pouch in the fire and throw wieners at the three deer heads across the map. Shoot the deer and pick up the symbol. First location being spawn, the second the mess hall, and the third location is at Camp Wolf in the second cabin on the left. Once you complete this step, run back to spawn and unlock the crossbows. Run back to the wreck area and pick up the photo from the back of the stage. Now head over to the knocked over totem pole and you will see an area to place the photo on the ground. Once you do this, you will begin a ritual and to complete this ritual, you must kill zombies by shooting them in the arm. Once the ritual has consumed enough souls, you can interact with a glowing orb on the ground. This will spawn a slasher. Pull out your crossbow and keep your distance. I like to head up narrow pass while non-stop shooting him. Once you have killed the slash, you will be rewarded with a max ammo, and now you can move on to the next ritual. For the second ritual, I like to grab a cheap shotgun off the wall. This makes leg kills much easier. Now head back to the boat and visit Kevin again. After a short chat, head back to the mainland and kill a few zombies in round 5 for the points. Head upstairs of spawn to the jug room and pick up the second picture. Run to the rave area and place down the second ritual. Now get leg kills, interact with the orb, and kill the slasher. Once again, if you keep your distance, this step is very simple. After you're finished, pick up the new cleanse picture and head back to Kevin for the last time. Zip line back to the mainland and repair barriers and play the knife game. Now grab the skull from the basement and take it to the docks. Start your third and final ritual, get headshots, and kill the slasher. Once you've completed this, you are almost home free to this round 5 easter egg. Head to the basement and then press the button. Run up the stairs and buy the M1 off the wall, and last but not least, upgrade your bow. Go to whatever statue or statues you have charged and shoot the statue 10 times with the crossbow. Huge shout out to Sets at Ninja Nation Gaming for figuring this out, making this easter egg much easier on round 5 with an upgraded bow. If you guys want to check out his channel, the link is down in the description below. Head back to the boat and ride it with Kevin. Once you reach the end of the ride with Kevin, he will freak out and turn into the giant slasher. You will be knocked off the boat and this will initiate the boss fight. The boss fight is incredibly easy, especially if you're willing to take your time. It has four stages that you repeat three times they remain the same difficulty throughout. The first stage is going to spawn two skulls on each side of the island. 
Train a full horde and shoot one or two shots of the upgraded bow next to the skull. Repeat this twice on each skull and step one is complete. Once step one is done, you will now see a small ritual circle on the ground. Lead the slasher to this circle and shoot his weak exposed area. One shot from the M1 without Pack-a-Punch will finish stage two. Stage three is my least favorite and requires a decent aim to complete. The slasher is going to walk around the island doing two attacks that do little damage to you. In between those attacks, you will see a glowing symbol on his body and you will have to shoot that symbol with your gun or bow. This step isn't hard, just time consuming. The last step is super easy, and once you finish stage 3, he will jump on the roof. He will now spawn fire all over the island, and you must stand in the green circle provided for safety. Now just spam your bow at the skull zombies coming after you, and you are completely safe. Once you finish stage 4, this will just repeat 3 times. The only difference between the stages is that he will block off small areas only while in rave mode. This is really easy to work around if you stay on the outskirts of the island. After stage 3 on the final run, you will not have to do the green circle skull step. Instead, just shoot him with your bow until he dies. Now that you guys know how to do the Easter egg by round 5, I promise to share how to get Jug and other perks without fortune cards by round 5 as well. This is time consuming, but worth it if you have no other methods. All you have to do is start the first ritual and purposely fail it. You have multiple zombies spawn in and kill only the ones with backpacks and fanny pack pouches. Every time you fail, you can restart over and over getting you unlimited backpacks. As you know, backpacks have a chance of dropping 50 to 1,000 cash. Continue to do this for 5 to 10 minutes and you will have more than enough for Jug. If you do this for long enough, you could have 4 perks and a packed weapon like you see in my gameplay here. My no fortune card run had harambes on round 5, so I had to do it on round 6. But as you can see, it is completely doable. Anyway guys, it's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below. If you guys are brand new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.